Hello everyone, Bridget Casey here today for Not Too Shabby. So you're seeing a sneak peek of the project that we're creating. I couldn't decide which stamp to use, so I went to an oldie but a goodie technique of ink blending, which I've been doing a lot lately. I've really been enjoying some ink blending. So first I'm going through and I'm stamping my images with a clear embossing ink and then putting white embossing powder over them. And I'm being daring because I haven't heat set it yet and I'm going back in and adding some stamps, but it all worked out okay. The end of the story was very, very good. So, you know, you know, sometimes it, it can get a little scary. So I did get nervous at this point. So I did put Put embossing powder on the rest of them and I am going to heat set what I have so far and when I tilt this in the light oh oh happiness this just makes me so happy so happy so happy what this does is when you ink blend over it uh, the embossed part will resist the ink so you can just wipe it off so I'm doing the same thing with my sentiment. I'm stamping it with Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide. I'm heat setting it with uh, clear embossing powder this time and then setting that aside. So I'm going to use Tattered Rose Saltwater Taffy and Candied Apple from the Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to blend these onto my panel. I thought these were a good strawberry kind of feel. Um, at the supermarket, I see a lot more Tattered Rose strawberries than I do candied apple strawberries. Um, I don't know about you guys out there, but in Maine, we see a lot more of the Tattered Rose or saltwater taffy colored strawberries. So um, for me, it's very accurate. So I'm going ahead and I'm blending until I'm happy with my blend. I don't want to have any white lines in between my two colors. So now that I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the ink that I accumulated on top. I'm going to splatter it with some shimmer spray. Yay! And then I'm going to go ahead and ink blend the Rustic Wilderness onto the sentiment strip. The white seemed a little too white. So now I want to add some glitter cardstock and I decide I'm going to trim down my sentiment, but I don't want to trim down too much. So I am playing it safe. So I don't know which to pick. And like I've mentioned in other videos, I like to take photos. So I'm going to take a photo of the one with the green and then the one with the silver. And I thought I liked the one with the silver better. And then I saw the photos and here we are. And I looked, no, green. So we're going to go with the green. And then in editing, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, is it too Christmassy? I hope it's not too Christmassy. Um, so it's strawberries. Strawberries are red and green. Maybe they should be the official fruit of Christmas. I don't know. Uh, so I decide that I didn't really like that. I didn't want to wrap the sentiment around like I did the glitter cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down and just have it kind of framed within the glitter cardstock on the front of the card. So I will put some of these adhesive little strip uh, gadgets on the back of my project. And of course, uh, you guys know me, I'm going to cover it uh, to make sure nothing bad happens. So we're going to stick that down. And then I wanted to use some of the sprinkles. So I tried them all over the card and it just didn't look right uh, for this project. So I added two on the front of my card panel and I was perfectly happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and like this video. Until next time, happy crafting.